let us start with the next point that is how to fill the null value so we are going to see filling nulls so i'll be using a new data frame here i'll be giving you the link for that so here is the data and here is the columns we have three columns and lot of null values here lot of null values and we have created a data frame spark dot create data frame and let me use data frame play data frame display data frame let me show you the schema for that so all in the one cell now you can see you got of you got lot of null values here so here we have an empty string here you have null values here you have null values and so on now you know like how to proceed further wherever you have a null values you can use a drop in a so just show you how you can use a drop in a so you can create a now the data frame name is f so f1 so get a new and i am using this data frame to remove the null values first but there is no point filling this null values here okay. there is no point because we don't know anything about uh, like the employee name is null department is null the salary is also null so let us do drop in a data frame function let me use a shall i use all here or any just now we have seen in the previous video we have seen how to drop the null values guys come on think is the answer is all so we need to use all so wherever you have all the null values in the row that will be deleted let me execute this is executed let me show you the display function df1 so now there are no null values throughout the column so now we have one null value here and we have some null values here and we have some null values in the salary column you can see here null values here value the employee name also so uh, like what i can say that okay if the salary column is null here i want to make wherever you have null values salary column i want to make all to the thousand but before filling it we need to check the documentation for that let me go back here we have seen how to drop the uh, drop the null values now let me show you how to fill the null value you can use data frame dot fill na or you can use na dot fill also both are aliasing to so this fill na will replace your null values so it takes two parameters it takes value and it takes subset so values you can give or you can pass on the values like an float string boolean dict anything you can pass the subset also that subset means on a particular column okay so we have two data frames now we have used the data frame for dropping the null values uh, and we have this data frame let us put that to fill it okay so first let us work on this df1 df1 dot if i say fill na and if i say thousand here thousand so my question is if i run this if i run this so wherever you have null values all the null values will be replaced with thousand is it so okay let me show you the documentation here then you can answer it so to do that let me use help df1 dot fill na let me run this okay so it takes two parameters one is value and one is subset it is asking to the value should be in the integer float or anything so i have passed on the integer my question is if i write fill na as thousand will all the columns will be replaced by thousand i'll give you a small hint here so if i write fill na as thousand do you consider any data type or not so how it will replace all the columns with thousand because the employee is of string data type department is of string data type and the salary is of long data type you are thinking like all the columns will replace with thousand the answer is no 
will not replace because it depends on the data type of the column so let me show you if i run this only the columns which has that will be replaced with thousand let me show you dot show and execute beautiful you can see here still you have null values here still you have null values here but there are no null values in the salary column so you can see that wherever null values were there that is all replaced with the so it all depends on what type of data type you are passing on so let me show you one more example if i write here as unknown unknown because i don't know that person's name so i want unknown to be printed only for the null values in the column employee name here so if i run this but see what is happening here it is showing you unknown here but unfortunately it is showing unknown in the department also but how to handle this type of scenario so there go uh, there comes a picture called a subset so you can pass on the subset on that particular column and you can say that hey you please fill this on a particular column and that column name is your department or your employee name something like that let me show you how you can do that Oh, okay, write it here. Just write. Let me copy this. This unknown should be replaced the null values in the column called employee name. So for that, let me put a comma and let me write. Hey, I want to take a subset. Subset should be written in the list and that is in the column name. My name. My name. And let me execute this. So now can see that only in the employee names column got unknown rest other you did not get any here so this is the example how you can use the fill in or you can take this uh, the example what we have used for drop let me run this again so i'll say this is data frame two. Say data frame 2 and print for data frame 2 let me execute this and let me this data frame to the null value so, so i'll come here and i'll say display data frame 2 okay so i'll be filling this yeah now we got entirely null value here so don't no need to fill this null value here because there is no meaning we don't know the name we don't know the subject we don't know the marks we don't know attendance so what you can do you can use data frame dot drop na or na dot drop and then say all okay all so wherever you have the null values that all will be deleted okay i mean that row will be deleted so that row has been the oh f2 i this is df2 not df okay. so we are applying that on this data frame df2 data you can see that now my requirement is wherever you have marks null value that should be replaced with 40 as a passing marks and attendance should be all 35 percent okay so can you do two columns at a time yeah you can do that by using a subset and the value both but if you look in the documentation and take a dictionary type also then pass on the dictionary type so let me show how you can do that so here let me take df2 dot fill na and then i'm going to take a dictionary inside it I'll be saying that here the marks column should be filled with <coughs> marks column should be filled with 40 as a passing marks, comma, and your attendance column filled with 35. So I'm just giving you a random numbers, but you need to apply a lot of theory behind this. Why you need to make this 40, why you need to make this 35. You need to know the statistics you need to know the maths to fill the null values now let me show this and now you can see this 40 wherever you have null values in the marks column that is replaced by 40 wherever you have null values in the attendance that is the third method how you can fill the null value using a dictionary 
thank you for watching guys if you like it please subscribe to my channel like this video comment on this keep learning